Hi everybody, Kevin here. I want to talk to you today a little bit about knots and rope work. Uh, I've kind of got a background in rigging and uh, sailing as in sailboats. Uh, I was a sailing instructor for a little while and uh, I also work with four units of scouts and I teach them all their knots and rope work and things like that. So uh, I've got just a little bit of background, uh, not as much as, as uh, some folks do and uh, a little bit more than some other folks do. And uh, this is really going to be an intro to a series. Uh, what I want to say before we really get the series started is uh, there are really about four common reasons that knots fail. Uh, number one, the knot is, is tied wrong. Uh, it is uh, used wrong. It's tied in the wrong material, or the knot or the rope that it's or the, or the material that it's tied in becomes damaged. And those are really the most common reason that knots fail. You'll have to uh, forgive the uh, road noise. Uh, there are two highways about four miles either way of me. And uh, unfortunately, they're both under construction, so everybody uh, is using the road out in front of the house here about 100 yards or so away as a uh, shortcut. So that being said, uh, we will get to uh, tying some knots and doing some rope work. The next knot I want to talk about is called the sheet bend. That's S-H-E-E-T, as in sheets on your bed. Uh, actually, uh, it's, a, it's a sailing knot. And uh, sheets are the lines on a sailing ship that control the side-to-side -side movement of, uh, of the sails. And uh, basically, in that application, this knot is used to uh, either give you a little hands-free action for the uh, for the sheets or for uh, maybe tying it down temporary so on and so forth and, or, uh, or hauling uh, and rigging uh, this is used as a uh, means to haul a larger line to another spot with a smaller line uh, the sheet bend is tied a large line like I have here being held by a smaller line, all right, a small diameter line. Uh, basically, to tie this knot, uh, we'll go through some terminology maybe later, or you can actually look it up on your own if you'd like to. Uh, there are bends and there are knots and there are bites and so on and so forth, and uh, it's all just different line terminology. And I'll, I'll try not to get too deep into it, but I'll explain what uh, needs to be explained. Uh, once again, sheet bend. We're going to put a bite in the line, which is nothing more than a fold in the line. Your smaller line is going to come up underneath this uh, bite you put in your line. It's going to pass around the back and then back under itself. And we're going to tighten that down. And that is basically the whole the whole premise of the sheet bend here. Uh, this paracord is going to slip a little bit on this manila line. Uh, to make this knot more secure, you can either make this a double sheet bend by passing around and under one more time. Let me tighten this up here. And it's the pressure on this line that keeps this tied. Uh, once again, this is another one of those knots that's made to have pressure on it. Uh, this could be tied off to a to a cleat and and used to hold the uh, hold the sheet in place. You know, if the if the helmsman wants to have his hands free, or the or the line handler wants to have his hands free to do something else. And uh, but you know the 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 wind is going to have pressure against the sails, so this is going to keep pressure on it. Uh, if you want to make this knot just a little bit more secure, we can go back to one of those stopper knots in the end, so it can't slip out from under. And that can either be a overhand knot or a figure eight, and that's the uh, that's the whole thing with the sheet bend right there. And this will tie in easy. All you got to do is pull back, pull back against the load, and this will this will loosen right up. That is all.